Hello everyone, my name is Brianneth and welcome back to my channel. So as you saw by the title, today's video is about the Department of Rehabilitation, DOR. I thought it would be a great idea to share the services and programs I have received and been part of as someone with a disability. It does have an unconventional and unusual name, but it is a great agency and program to help anyone with a disability. If you don't already know, I am visually impaired, which is why I'm eligible for this program as a student with a disability. So that's why I thought of making this video because I know how hard it is as someone with a disability to get services or access to certain programs that will help you overcome barriers, whether it is in employment, or living independently or going off to college. And that's why I thought of DOR. DOR is the perfect solution for many of those situations. This department might be called something differently varying from state to state, but I'm pretty sure every state has its own department that is dedicated to assisting individuals with disabilities. So I thought it would be best if I just started talking about how I got a reach of DOR and how I applied and how I heard of it. Pretty much during my senior year, my transition teacher let me know of various programs and services that we were going to apply to by the end of the school year, and DOR was one of them. I'm not sure if every high school has a transition teacher on campus, but I am sure as someone with an IP, you should be eligible and have access to a transition specialist. You just have to make sure to go ask at the Office for Special Education, and they should put you in contact with a transition teacher and pretty much what they do is that they prepare you and let you know of all the possible opportunities or special programs that they think would be great for you post high school so whether you plan to go to college or you just want to find a job they should be able to help you with that i will provide the link to their website down below make sure to check it out if you're eligible go ahead and apply it doesn't hurt to apply if anything, if you are accepted into the program, which you most likely are, it's just simple verification, you will be able to have access to many services and programs that you wouldn't otherwise. Make sure to do all the paperwork as soon as possible because I know that with me, my application to DR did take a while to get approved and then from there I had to meet with my counselor and discuss all my opportunities and what I was going to decide to do after high school. The senior year is pretty short. Fat, it goes by faster than you think. So just make sure to be on top of all of that. But you have to make sure to keep in touch with your counselor. They are very busy. There's not that many counselors at the department and they have various students. So you have to keep in touch either through calls or emails and be persistent if you need any type of services or help. DOR is a great way to prepare for potential employment and to live independently as someone with a disability. Now for the services I do receive. Uh, like I said, I am visually impaired, so my situation is entirely different from someone else that might be receiving services or be part of a program with DOR. DOR also provides assistive technology, whether it is a laptop. I received a laptop for university and it has been so, so helpful to have that laptop because as someone with a visual impairment, I solely rely on my computer for all my studies. I mean, even if I were to write down my own notes, it would be very difficult for me to read even my own regular print because I am visually impaired. I'm only speaking as someone with a visual impairment. I don't know what DOR can provide for someone else, whether it's with hearing loss or any other type of disability, but I'm pretty sure there are other types of assistive technology available for them. And don't forget to like and subscribe so I can make more videos like this. DR can also give you magnifiers, whether it's electronic magnifiers or if it's handheld. If you need a CCTV, DR can provide that. It honestly just depends on your communication with your counselor and explain the reasoning why you need it. And most often, if it is something you need, DR will provide it for you. Again, like I said, it does depend from student to student and with different disabilities, or di there's different services they provide, so make sure to talk to your, your counselor or to reach out di directly. 
DR also does provide help with textbooks. Pretty much you do have to buy them from the bookstore or from wherever DR indicates because they do want them to be in new condition and to be perfect for you to use throughout the entire course. So if I had to buy my textbooks from the bookstore on my own, I would be spending hundreds of and hundreds of dollars per semester. And as a science major, every course has required multiple textbooks. It's not like I just have one book per class. I may be taking four classes, but I might need like 15 books. And, that's ha and that has happened to me, especially during freshman year. So I would recommend if you are a part of DR and aren't receiving this service, ask. And if you're not part of DR, you should go ahead and find out how you can apply and be part of this great program. Another thing that DR helps with is tuition. If you can't cover all of tuition or you're not able to find enough scholarships or loans to cover it, you should contact your counselor and ask them if they are willing to and how much they could cover for your academic year. DR does not cover or help out with any housing costs because that's up to you. And But I do know that it does help out with transportation whether it is that you're taking pu the public bus or the subway or using access, that's a service here that I know of in Los Angeles for people with disabilities. So it does help out with that. Any type of service you may need, just ask your counselor. I strongly urge you to do that. Nobody will help you unless you tell them you need help. I'm not sure if I mentioned independent living services yet, but I do know that DR does provide with that. I don't know to what extent. I did see on their website that it did speak of housing opportunities, but I am more familiar with the aspect of just getting you trained and showing you tips and tricks to make living on your own a lot easier. For instance, I know mobility training for individuals with who are blind or who have a visual impairment and pretty much a mobility instructor comes to you and they show you how to navigate the world using technology, using crosswalks, and I'm blanking out, but there's so many other types of transportation. The fact is that they make it safe for you as someone with a disability to navigate the world on your own. And I recommend this training to everyone that might be having a difficult time getting around, whether it is when it's dark I know when it's dark, it's hard for me to see. So that's why I don't like to walk on my own in the dark. But anyone that does have to, I suggest getting the proper training to make sure that you're always safe. I'm not entirely sure if this type of training has to do with DOR, but I do know that the Los Angeles Braille Institute does hold various programs throughout the, the entire year in which it trains individuals to live on their own. Pretty much these participants go to their facility, their center, and they live there for those weeks that they are on campus. And anything that you may not think of as being crucial to independence, they pretty much, these programs train you on all of that. And it's such a great resource for anyone that feels like it's time to be gain that independence, to move out from your parents, to move across this to another city, to another state and you just wanna feel like you have the proper resources and training to feel safe on your own, then I would suggest looking for these programs and I'm pretty sure DOR can help you find them. But if not, for specifically for people with any type of visual impairment, I know that as long as you search Braille Institute, Braille Center, or anything like that, they can connect you to the right services. If you're not visually impaired and you don't live in California, but are interested in these type of programs, I would suggest contacting your rehabilitation department for your state and they can provide all the necessary information. So now to talk about employment. Jobs are important for everyone. So obviously Dior will have a department to cover that, whether it is providing a job for someone within their department or helping them get the proper skills to job search online. They do provide services for that. And once you do get a job, they still keep helping you out because they know sometimes that barriers come up as someone with a disability that will not come up for someone without a disability. Anyways, the point is that they provide an array of services. So either if you're going into employment, they can help you train and be able to 
do your job independently, whether it is providing assistive technology or simply allowing you to meet with an occupational therapist that would demonstrate easier ways to do certain things. DOR provides the services necessary to prepare you to be independent. So pretty much if you're going into work straight out of high school, you can ask your DOR counselor if there's any programs that would help you train and be independent in your job. And that way it really eliminates the barriers that people with disabilities face. DOR will provide the necessary training and any type of technology assistance, along with other services, to make you an independent employee. Overall, the goal of DOR at the end of the day is for you to be independent, for me to be independent. So that's why they provide all these amazing services so that we are able to live independently as people with disabilities. So the point of this video is that DOR is an awesome opportunity and you should take advantage of it. So make sure to look, click the link down below and apply. And if you're under the age of 24, you're, I'm pretty sure you're still eligible. And if you would like more videos like this or of any other content that you might want to suggest, please remember to subscribe and like and leave a comment down below and I'll get to it. And remember, if you want to live your best life, always keep it real. Bye.